Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, congratulations on Robot Chicken being what it is. Just a massive success. Long, long-standing success on Adult Swim. You have the Walking Dead episode coming up. Is there anything you can tell us of what to expect from a Walking Dead episode for those who are fans of both the show and the Walking Dead? Oh man, what can we say? Can't really say expect much. The expect the unexpected. That's pretty good. You know, yeah, if, if you've seen any of the other specials, like the DC Comics mm. special or the Star Wars special, I think you can expect some of the great random fun that comes from, uh, yeah, mm. jumping into any, any world like that. Be first. Um, has there been anything you've been unable to do yet or a voice you've been unable to get or someone you've been unable to parody that you've just really wanted to? Mm, good question. Um, let's see, a voice we weren't able to get. I know Matt, the creator, really wants to get Harrison Ford on the show, and mm. he's been trying for years and years and years and yeah. years, and I think that's the one that continues to get away from him. Yeah, he might be the only one that we haven't been able to get, which is crazy because we've had yeah, that's incredible. everyone almost in yeah. the world. Dave Coulier <laughs> is a favorite of Harv's yeah. anytime he comes in. Dave, Dave Coulier follows me on Twitter. Does he really? Yes, he does. All right. That's amazing. That's how you know you've made it. <laughs> I think it's I think it's because he plays the hashtag wars. Oh, okay. And like I was really early on into the hashtag wars. Yeah. Um, hear more about that. Yeah. <laughs> just me. <laughs> yeah. Just me in the hashtag. <laughs> Back to me in the hashtag wars. I made the top 10 once. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, obviously, Rachel Bloom. Yep. That's Yes, Rachel Bloom came through your writer's room. She's obviously killing it over at yeah. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Do you have, have you seen that success a lot with people who've come through your staff? Yeah, that's happened a few times, you know, and it's really exciting. Like with her, like we saw her YouTube videos, and then she came to the writer's room and she wrote for a few seasons, and uh, we were lucky enough to do the opening credits for her, her show. But yeah, it's there's been a lot of people like that. Um, let's see, what are some good examples? Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris McKay, who was the editor on Robot Chicken and director on it for a long time, is now directing the Lego Batman movie. So there's a, been a yeah. lot of people that have come through that writer's room or just come, come through the studio and go on to do really great things bigger Hugh, and better things yeah Hugh, da Hugh Davidson he went yeah. on to he's running Mike Tyson uh, on Adult Swim mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Shinnick had Mad on Cartoon Network they all come you know kind of come through that room so yeah. but, but the great thing is like so they'll work with us they'll be, be big and famous then they'll come back and still write with us so it's cool it's a too. real nice little family yeah. how many Trump sketches should we expect in the future <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I guess I mean, it depends on what happens in the election. <laughs> yeah, but see how funny it is. Hopefully not too many, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, you know, like when uh, George Bush was president, I think we had a good balance of finding the fun in him and the funny in him, you know? So it's it's not always of the moment. It's just kind of making fun of the personality. Yeah, like, so I'm sure finding the personality of Trump and finding ways to laugh at it, you know, Yeah, like easy. George George W. basically was, you know, on, on Robot Chicken became like this really fun party frat dude. And that was like the you know the personality that we that we kind of ran with, yeah. and he was yeah he was really fun reoccurring character on the show. Yeah, we don't like to get too political, but it's fun to take jabs, obviously, and keep it light. Yeah. Um, with The Walking Dead, are there any other properties coming forward that you would really want to tackle with their solo episode? You know, we've we flirt with the idea of like a, a GI Joe or a He-Man or something like that but um, you know it's interesting it's it's all on timing and, and what the properties are doing at that time and what they want to do so um, you know sky's the limit what would you like to see you have no. to choose four <laughs> if I had to choose just Save by the Bell is four. one. Oh yeah, Save by yeah. the Bell. We were talking about um, a, cl a Clueless special just because Brecken and Donald and all yeah, those yeah. guys that would yeah, be in high demand, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, let's see, WWE special? Yeah. WrestleMania special? No, that would make I don't sense. know. You have, I, have connections, right? I have a few connections. Right. I can, I can, there are three people in my phone okay. who could forward me six ways up that ladder. All right. We're halfway there. Yeah. What's the math on that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you're we'll figure it out later. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Yeah.